Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new world record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. Click the subscribe button to follow our adventure around the world. See you later! Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 29. 29 already, <laughs> wow. So we have been chilling out here a little bit, catch up with all the editing and now we are ready to hit the road again. Bumblebee is waiting for us, Bumblebee <laughs> patiently. Bumblebee is uh, down there waiting for us. Um, we're here in a little, nice little room in the town of Humanes and uh, you can see very peaceful here in the town and the sun is still shining strong blue skies today yes. so I think it's gonna be a good day for a ride so let me show you where we're gonna go okay so we are here just north of Guadalajara and today we are gonna be heading straight through Madrid and heading out the south to a nice country area, countryside area here, where we're gonna look for another free camp. So it's gonna be another day of a major city tour. So we did London already, we did Paris. So Madrid, we are coming for you. <laughs> so we've got about 150 miles in total, I think today. Um, and it's gonna be a massive day of contrast from the city and then back out to the countryside. So it's already 10.30, better to hit the road. Let's go. Time to hit the road Time to hit the road Time to hit the road Let's go to Madrid Oh, I went the wrong way Redirect Goodbye horsey Bye bye horsey Bye bye Hotel Rural Victoria Goodbye, little town. <laughs> the Humanas was quite a cute little town, no? During our days off, we had a couple of walks around the streets in the evenings after editing. Okay. So the Garmin tells us it's about 52 miles. We've routed to a Lidl just outside of Madrid, where we're going to stop and have some lunch before we actually get into the city. So it's 52 miles to the Lidl. So let's go! views beautiful snowy mountains just outside from Madrid Whee! here we go can you see it can you see it Madrid <laughs> we're coming it's just like a wall of buildings ahead a wall of uh, concrete and glass so we are 6.2 miles from the center of Madrid and we are heading in Oh, 
Wow, look at this Plaza de Toros. Built in 1929, apparently. It's so nice designed. Wow. It looks like something from the Middle East. It does. It definitely Very has that sort of Eastern architectural design, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Oh, I'm in a bus lane. Hold on. Let me get over. Look at this dude with the t shirt and shorts. <laughs> He's got the helmet, yeah, but that's about it. Oh, red light. I think that. From looking on TripAdvisor, most of the major tourist attractions were related to just giant palaces and giant buildings. So on our tour, we're probably gonna just drive past a lot of those. Wow, we're really, really getting into the very center. Now look at the buildings around. And it looks like uh, the central park of Madrid is coming up. Here's a very nice building on the left. Oh, look at this. Wow. That's grand. <laughs> that is a grand door. <laughs> it's a bit like the Brandenburger tour, no? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. A bit like the Brandenburg gate. Yeah. It's like the ancient gate of the city. You shall not pass. <laughs> But actually, it's a roundabout, so everybody just goes around the gate. Oh no! Yeah. I wanted to go through the gate! Yeah, I think oh. that the police would have something to say about that if we did. <laughs> yeah, so this is like the Arc de Triomphe of Madrid. I'm just making city comparisons now. We've been to the Hyde Park of, of Madrid, now we've been to the Arc de Triomphe of Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> There's a super grand building here with big white, glistening white towers on top. Yeah, that looks like a museum. Wow, that's a grand building. <laughs> and a grand fountain as well. Look at that. Yeah, that looks like a like a very upmarket city here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there, look at this one with the gold on top. Yeah, wow. It's probably real gold. A nice, nice machine, beautiful, Suzuki, nice, I have BMW car, no motorbike, but I love motorbike, you know? Nice. Next time, I'm gonna do it with you guys to North Africa, yeah? Yes! Nice one, man. Yes! Peace, okay? Welcome to Madrid! <laughs> Whee! We are in a labyrinth of loads of streets, loads of little plazas, we have no idea where we're going, but there's a lot of different options. <laughs> there are streets, streets literally everywhere. I think we're really into it now. Let's take this one. I'm just taking whichever one I feel. And it is very hot in the sun. The bike is registering 31 degrees at the moment. So that is really hot, especially hot to be stuck in traffic in the city. So we are sweating. Look at that dome. Yeah, it's absolutely, it's a really beautiful city. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we are now heading out of Madrid. We've totally had enough of the city now. <laughs> we are sweating buckets. It is very hot today. Yes, but it looks like a very, very enjoyable city here. 
when you live here you have so many opportunities going out with your friends and eating in nice places you can see everywhere little uh, little streets and it looks lovely i'm yeah i like it very clean city as well with some very impressive buildings it's like the city of a million plazas no it's just like where we're just going from one plaza to the next to the next yeah we looked actually up it, the city has a population from 3.4 million people and it's the second largest city in europe yeah I'm after berlin <laughs> <laughs> so now we're in some sort of tunnel which i have no idea how long we're going to be in this tunnel yeah but, but it, it looks like that we are underneath the city now i think just we to, are yeah just to get out quicker i guess coming out into the light and we have no idea where we are but the GPS is gonna pick us up okay let's see oh my god 9.4 okay after a, a lot of exits and entrances to different big roads we have found our way out of the city yeah I don't know what that tunnel was all about it took us totally in a random direction and then we popped out and it was like hold on a minute where the hell are you now we're on on the right track heading out the south of the city back out into the nature where we're going to look for a wild camp stopping for some bread for some olives as usual <laughs> We've come off the highways now and now we are heading to the area that we're trying to find a wild camp back on the dirt road now okay oh, oh. that's okay it's fine so it's about nine miles to the area we're trying to get to so let's just see how good or bad the road gets and see if we can get there very beautiful yeah back into the countryside with just orchards olive groves Okay, we're about a mile away from the area that we're going to try and camp. Look at this, back into the hills, beautiful green hills, surrounded by olive groves. Uh, it's a beautiful area. Yeah, stunning. Wow. Just like a, like a magic wonderland of forest. Yeah, it is, hey? Ooh. Oop. Looks like a magic wonderland. <laughs> oh, look at this place. Ah. Wow. It looks like it's sort of an area that you can just go camping, eh? Hola. <laughs> I think this is just a free camp. Oh, okay. Look at this. I think it's just free camping everywhere. Okay. Crazy. That's cool. Wow, this is just a giant camping area with loads of people around that's crazy and everybody's just like oh camping there camping here so we are just gonna head down this little road
evening. <laughs> We've set up our camp here in the forest. <laughs> oh yes, camping again, I love it. Yes, <laughs> it's nice, it's nice, especially after the stress in the city. <laughs> it's pretty hectic always to drive around cities, city centers, but... Um, it was like I, 30 degrees as well. As well, yeah. But I don't regret it because, yeah, Madrid is a really, really beautiful city and definitely worth a visit. I was really impressed with it. Yeah, the architecture and all the palaces and all the grand buildings everywhere. Yeah. It's really nice, really beautiful place. But I'm very happy to be back out into the countryside doing some camping, doing some free camping out here. So I will show you quick the place here. So we found this place on iOverlander. Here are still uh, a few cars parked up and lots of families around having a barbecue, chilling out. Yeah, it's, it's really amazing actually. So we did about 150 miles today. After we left the city, it was just like straight on the autovia, straight to get out the city and all the way back out into the countryside. So anyway, we hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, then thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, and all these things below. We will see you next time. So we set up uh, our beautiful camp here, but of course we are not the only ones. And the guys next door, they're having a big party with like hot style music. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just here writing my diary, you know? <laughs> We have a very beautiful meal tonight. It's lentils with some smoked tofu and some spinach topped up with a little bit of curry. And we put our cream cheese in there as well, <laughs> plus a little bit alioli. So it's like a Michelin cuisine tonight. <laughs> bon appetit! <laughs> that is a masterpiece of a curry. That is a really good, really nice lentil mm. curry. Oh. Nom, nom.